Tonight in our series on food safety, the value of ozone. Mention ozone under normal circumstances, and most people will think of the ozone layer over the Earth, which protects us from the sun's ultraviolet rays. Ozone, in this case, comes in a bottle, or pretty close to it, and it turns out to be a most effective killer of germs. Here's ABC's Ned Potter. When the grapefruit is picked from the trees, it's sometimes filthy, stained with bacteria, mold, and pesticides. For decades, American packers have washed food in chlorine, but it doesn't clean away everything, and it does leave a chemical residue. So here's another idea. You know how fresh the air sometimes smells after a thunderstorm? That's partly because lightning cutting through the air turns oxygen molecules, or O2, into ozone, which chemists label O3. In water, it's 3,000 times faster acting, killing virus, bacteria, than chlorine is. Ozone can be used to clean everything from vegetables to beef to chicken. We're feeding these small chambers high voltage electricity and passing oxygen through those chambers, and the electricity is breaking the oxygen into ozone. That ozone gas is pumped into the packing plant's water, which is sprayed under pressure on the grapefruit. Ozone cleans all sorts of chemicals off food. It kills E. coli, salmonella, and other organisms. And there's a bonus, because the water is now recyclable. After the wash, it's pumped back to the ozone generator to repeat the process. The result is plainly visible. This is a jar of water that's been used to clean off the fruit. Fifteen minutes later, after it's been filtered and treated with ozone, it looks like this, ready to be used again. The government approved ozone for food just this summer, but it's not new. In Japan and Europe, it's been used for decades. The water supply for Los Angeles is cleaned with ozone, as is most bottled water. But for food in the United States, ozone got little notice until the recent episodes of contamination. I think it's one of the nicest opportunities that's come along for the food industry and uh, for consumers in a long, long time. Ozone cleaning is no more expensive than chlorine, and it leaves no chemicals behind. Ozone quickly turns back into regular oxygen. As the technology spreads, it can mean a safer food supply for a worried public. Ned Potter, ABC News, Vero Beach, Florida. For years, ozone has been used to kill bacteria in food and in the air, but no one had actually combined the steps at the same time. That was until now. Every day, more than 100,000 pounds of chicken breasts are deboned, washed in a chlorine solution, and packaged at Sunshine Farms in Riviera Beach. Very soon, they'll be ozonated, an innovative high-tech process to kill bacteria. Between the salmonella, between trichinosis, and between E. coli, we figured if there was a, a procedure which would not increase the cost to the individual, why not implement it and pass that benefit on to the consumer? That procedure, developed in Riviera Beach, is actually a combination of three simple steps. First, pure air removes bacteria from the air. Then the chicken breasts are washed in a special oxidized solution. So chicken comes through here. As the last process, it gets one more treatment just before it goes in for sealing. Here's the proof. Compare this sample of an average processed chicken to this sample of a chicken treated with ozone and UV light. Notice the difference? The FDA has already approved this process. The USDA is expected to approve it any day now. And as soon as they do, Sunshine Farms will start putting it right on the label. The cost is so insignificant for the amount of volume that any poultry company would produce, the consumer would not be paying any premium to have a healthier product. A penny? I doubt it would be that much. This system was developed for restaurants and for food processors. Bacteria, fungus, mold, decrease food shelf life, and increase the possibility of food contamination. What we've developed is a system that utilizes friendly oxidizers, friendly oxidizers being ozone, hydroxyl radical, and UV light. Friendly oxidizers are described as oxidizers that revert back to hydrogen and oxygen after the oxidation occurs. Now, Fink tells us it would cost around $5,000 to install the three-step process in restaurants, between fifteen dollars and $20,000 to install it in larger food processing plants. They say it is safer, faster, and more effective than chlorine, which is the common disinfectant used right now. It's also not as controversial as irradiation, which is another option for killing foodborne bacteria.